But you can't sit on my lap while I'm doing all of my makeups. I wish you could. Oh, that's nice. Nice little morning burp. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video. I will be doing a vintage uh, hair and makeup look. It's gonna be kind of centered around 1940s, 1950s. The methods I'll be using aren't gonna be super factual. Um, I'm just kind of trying to have some fun with it. When I started researching different styles of hair I could do. I came across like pin curls or like foam rollers. So my first thought was to do something with the pin curls. However, all of the pin curls at the like clips, the pin curl clips I was finding were all nickel plated and I am allergic to nickel. I can just imagine like waking up the next day with just like a totally like rash infested scalp and oh no. I know. So I found some videos on YouTube which I will link down below on foam rollers and I decided to go with that method. So the plan is that uh, right now it is Saturday evening. I am going to put my hair into rollers now with you guys and then in the morning when I wake up I'm gonna come down and probably do my makeup before I take the rollers out just so my hair is already back and out of my face. Um, but I did get some cosmetics from this company called Besame. They have such beautiful packaging and such like it, it just like a lot of their colors and items are actually based on items from that time period so I'm super excited to get into those. I have not used any of them yet. So yeah I'm gonna start with my hair and then I'm going to go to sleep and then in the morning we're going to do the makeup look and then finish off the hair. I have these Con Air foam rollers. Looks like this. They come in all sorts of different sizes. I'll mainly be using the pink and the green. I also have a setting lotion. I'm gonna throw a picture up over here of the setting lotion I used. I got it from Amazon and I diluted it based on their instructions um, with water. So that's what I have here. That's what I will be using. These are gonna be a wet set curl. I also have a, a brush. This is a Tangle Teaser brush. I love it. It works great. I use this in the shower um, as a scalp brush and then out of shower. And then I have a like headscarf, a silk headscarf so that I can tie up the curls before I go to bed and they won't be uh, flapping around in, in you know while I'm sleeping. I am a tosser and turner while I sleep and that will help keep the curls in place. So that's what we're gonna start with today. I am really excited and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to take headband out. This is my hair currently. I think I'll zoom out maybe a little. It's pretty long. This is my hair currently. It's like down, you know, past the boob area. And uh, I'm just going to start by brushing it out. And then what I like to do is part my hair. But what I like to do is kind of go to the crown of my hair, my head, and go down towards my ear. Normally I use a comb for this. Do you think I remember to bring a comb down for filming? No. So here's one side, and then I'm going to do the same and go down the other side. That's cool. Take the back hair and clip it in place. I also have a hair clip. Okay. So. Get my foam rollers opened up. So I guess I'll start at the top. So I'm gonna grab a section of hair, about one to two inches of hair, and I am going to spray with my setting lotion. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is spraying my hand and then using my hand and brushing through um, to get it onto my hair because it's just way too messy otherwise. So. I'm gonna hold on to my hair for a second. I'm just gonna do this and my hair is gonna get wet. And I'm gonna brush through. And my, my shirt's gonna be soaked by the end of this, but that's okay. Now, normally, uh, you'll see people starting from the bottom sometimes, and my hair's a little bit layered, so I can't quite do that. 
So I think what I'll do instead is I usually start around here and I'm going to wrap it, not too tightly. But I'm going to wrap it and then make sure that the ends are tucked in nicely and then just roll it up and clip it closed. So basically you want the, the hairs to be tucked in so they don't frizz out because they will frizz out otherwise. And then we're going to come through and repeat the process. Now this bottom one, it's not as much hair. I'm gonna, just going to do a green roller. So when I get to the top here, I'm going to kind of roll up and down and I, I don't know if that's gonna be right or if it's gonna work but we're gonna we're gonna test it nothing's gonna be perfect here we're just having fun and doing hair all right so now we're left with the back section of hair so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate the back into three sections and each section will get a curl and they'll just like go up the back of my head. done done with the curls so this is what it looks like excuse the loud squeaky chair we have this very beautiful um, silk scarf okay it's a square so I turn it into a triangle I guess I can scoot back further so it's a triangle and then I'm going to place it That is it for right now. I am going to go about the rest of my evening. I have spent all day filming, so it'll be nice to have a mini break before I get into um, actually editing what I'm filming. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm going to have dinner, go to bed, and I will meet you guys here in the morning to continue our vintage look. Good night. Good morning! I am so excited to get into the actual makeup. So, um, as you can see, like I have not touched my headscarf. Um, I slept in this all night long and it is completely fine. It did not move. Um, nothing shifted. I didn't have to do anything. It was pretty comfortable. I'm just kind of backing a little bit. It was pretty comfortable to um, sleep in the initial, like, you know, first few minutes when I lay down it was a little like uh, this is a little awkward but once you get used to it and once you actually fall asleep I mean I had absolutely no problems so um, yeah we're gonna get into doing our makeup first and then um, we'll go into finishing up the hairstyle so I'm gonna start with taking off the headscarf and there's our curls uh, let's get started with the face. I did, I'll zoom in a little bit, and by zoom in, I'll scooch my hair in a little bit. Um, I did wash my face this morning, and uh, so you guys get to see it in all its natural glory. Uh, we're going to start with a primer, and I am going to be using the Pore Professional by Benefit. Mainly focus it on my T-zone. Um, I don't really... Put it all over the face. My T-zone is the main area that kind of gets oily and has larger pores. So we're just going to rub it in, kind of 
had it in as usual I am using the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation this is my go-to shade 420 and we're gonna start with I guess two pumps we're just going to smooth it on to the face um yep and there's probably a more delicate and sophisticated way to use your hands to do this but neither of those things so I'm not too worried <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna go in with I believe my bronzer today I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona blush duo in number 17 and teak nude so I am going to apply this lightly. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to apply this lightly with uh, Real Techniques 003 uh, powder brush. This is my favorite brush. The way it's shaped is nice for bronzer. So I'm just going to lightly go in with that and kind of tap it on. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So the next thing we're going to do is blush and this is actually one of the items I purchased from Besame and it is the Besame Cream Rouge and look at how absolutely adorable this packaging is and it says instant rosy cheeks and lips so it is a dual product you can use it on your uh, lips as well but I purchased a lipstick specifically for this video so I'll just be using this on my cheeks and it says it's a 1938 inspired cream rouge for cheek and lip so we're gonna get this guy open and again the packaging is just so pretty this is in crimson shade crimson 704 and just look at how gorgeous this tin is and if we open it up looks like it's quite red so I'm gonna lightly apply this to my cheeks and then I will buff it out with a brush just so it's not super pigmented and concentrated and just kind of buff it out a little bit yeah I think that looks really nice so for the next thing, I'm going to put a little bit of a primer on my lids, um, and this is the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer. And uh, again, the packaging is super cute and a little bit vintage looking. Alright, so I'm going to apply the primer to my lid, and then... For our eyeshadow today, I'm doing just very simple, nothing crazy. I'm going to do like a nude all over the lid and then just a really light application of like a brown, neutral brown in the crease. Mm -hmm. And so for that, I will be using the Studio Makeup Easy to Wear Eyeshadow Palette. I received this in this month's BoxyCharm box. For the purpose of today's look, again, going super neutral, so I'm going to go in with lace. This color right here, lace. I'm using the wrong brush. <laughs> I'm using the JS4 Jeffree Star brush that um, is actually more for like highlighter, but I've already put the eyeshadow on it, so that's what we're using. Did I mention it's Sunday morning <laughs> and I haven't finished my first cup of coffee yet? But that's okay. This will do the job. And dust it lightly. And then for the crease, I'm going to go in with Fate. And I am going to put this in my crease lightly. And whenever I put in a crease color, I just like to apply it with soft circular motions. All right, so now we are going to get into the Besame Mascara Cake. That is this guy here. You can see the brush it comes with and then the actual mascara cake is wrapped in like parchment paper. And that's what that looks like. So I'm going to apply some water to the pan. So you kind of create a paste with the water. 
on the cake. And that's what you're going to use to apply the mascara. And we're just going to start applying it as liner and see how it goes. I am just lightly holding it. Steady. I have a visitor here. Um, my pupper Lola is telling me it is time for her attention. <laughs> Come here, Lola. You want to say hello? You want to say hello? This is Lola. Say hello. Yep, this is my doggy, Lola. She is a Boston Terrier mix. I've had her for five years, going on six this year. Yes. And she's just so sweet. Yes, she is so sweet. But you can't sit on my lap while I'm doing all my makeups. I wish you could. Oh, that's nice. Nice little morning burp. Yeah, you're so sweet. Okay, time to go down so I can finish up and then we'll play after. Okay, that was a nice little break. So, now we are going to attempt to do our brows with this black and I know it is going to be way too black. I'm gonna use the same brush I used on my liner and I'm just gonna whew, start going for it. <laughs> oh no. I mean it looks really nice. Like the application is fantastic. Maybe it won't look so bad when the second one is done. I'm gonna go through with the spoolie and just see if I can like brush it out a little bit to lessen the darkness. So I am digging that. All right, time for the mascara. Now this brush is the only thing that I'm not sure about. Um, if I'm finding that it's not quite applying right, I do have that spoolie that I can use uh, that will make it a lot easier to apply, so I can always go that route, but we're going to try it with what it came with first. Oh, the bottom lash mascara application is really difficult. I'm going to have to clean up a lot. So I'll do this eye with this brush, and then I will do the second eye with the spoolie, and I imagine that one will be easier, because um, I am butchering this eye. Alright, so for the next test, we're going to use the spoolie end of this brush, and this is a, does this say on here? It's a Jeffree Star JS7 brush. That is so much easier. I should have absolutely done that with the first application. So as far as an eyeliner, 10 out of 10. And as far as a brow, I would also say probably a 10 out of 10. The color obviously is a little much for me. I would get the brown and I think that would work really well. The mascara though, I'm just not sure what the staying power is and it really doesn't do much to thicken or lengthen or anything like that. It just makes them a little more visible but at the same time I mean it is doing something so I would say maybe like a six out of ten for the mascara okay so for the powder I'll be using the Besame brightening vanilla face powder so this is the powder and you take that out and it comes with a cap on it which is really nice and then that flips out and you have your powder I'm just going to use a little applicator that it came with and I'm going to set my oily areas with the powder. Hmm. Alright, I'm just going to go in with my blush brush, I guess, and really dust it over my brows. I am really happy with the makeup look, but my next piece is the lipstick and I'm really excited for that one. For this one, I'm using Besame Classic Color Lipstick in Victory Red. This is the outside packaging. Victory Red. And it says on here that this is shade is a true replica of a color from 1941. So I am so excited about that. So this is what the lipstick tube looks like. Super beautiful. And then... This is what the lipstick looks like, and it is just a gorgeous, 
red color. I cannot wait. I think this is going to look really nice on me. So I'm going to start using the flat edge to kind of align my lips. All right, lined. And then I'm just going to fill in. And I'll clean up the edges a little bit. Next, we're going to finish up the hair. So, for the hair, we have uh, the Tangle Teaser brush, this guy here. And I'm just going to take out the curls, the curlers, and go from there. So you're going to see that part now. Yeah, that's, that's a look. So that's what you end up with after you've taken all your curls out. They look awesome, but they can't stay this way. So I'm going to just kind of run my hands through everything and just kind of loosen up the curls a little bit. And then we're going to start the brushing process. So this part you have to be really patient with and be gentle. So I kind of start at the bottom, just kind of brush through. And I just do a section at a time. That, that section is not done by any means. Um, I'm just trying to go through and brush all the hair. So where we left off was I was brushing my hair and I'm still brushing my hair but as you can see it's this side is kind of starting to form so we are just going to keep on trucking so I'm gonna take my bangs and I'm gonna start teasing them just have like a rat tail teasing comb and I'm gonna take my uh, hairspray as I'm going this is control addict uh, redkin control addict hairspray it is super powerful stuff so I'm just gonna lightly spray as I go and I'll probably do one more section of bangs and hairspray And then we're going to flip it back over and we are gently going to brush kind of tuck down bring it forward I'm almost doing like a faux bob with the ends of my hair basically. And we're gonna take this side and kind of spray. And I'm gonna take some bobby pins and I'm just gonna pin this back behind the ear to make sure it stays in place. And doesn't start flying away. I think we're almost done here. I'm gonna go through and just brush this side out one more time. I will say I do like this style quite a bit. So what do you guys think? Comment down below if you've ever tried a vintage look like this. I do have a couple of accessories to play with. So I have my glasses. These are real glasses. They are um, Prescription, I do have a prescription for glasses. You guys have not seen me yet with glasses on, mainly because it's hard to do makeup with glasses on. But these are super fun. Kind of like a vintage cat eye glass. Or I have this super awesome vintage hat I got at an antique store. I don't know quite what year this would be considered, but 
hats were very popular in the day. This is my finalized vintage look. I really love the way the makeup turned out. The lipstick is very bright, very red. The hair I love. See, my hair is super long right now, but I am dying to cut it short. I think it's most flattering on me when my hair is short, but it's been so long since I had long hair. I'm just trying to hold out a little bit longer and let it be in its longness. <laughs> so one day I will have short hair again, but at the moment I feel like this looks quite lovely. Thank you guys for joining me on this vintage journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos of me playing with makeup and just having some general fun and getting to know each other, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified as soon as I post something new, which is every Sunday and Wednesday. Thank you guys again for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!